Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with Solo Learn Introduction to C++ Programming. This is part 13. We are currently on the do while loop. Okay, so let's go in here and let's read about it. So this is the do while loop. Unlike for and while loops, which test the loop condition at the top of the loop, the do while loop checks its condition at the bottom of the loop. In other words, a do while loop is similar to a while loop. The one difference is that the do while loop is guaranteed to execute at least one time. So the way it works is um, <coughs> the program execution will execute this statement, then it will evaluate the, if the condition is true, and it will um, execute furthermore. Okay, so which is the correct syntax for do while loop? Okay, so it's this. It's do this while this. Okay. So it's not do because it's more than one O. It's not capitalized and you're missing the braces. Okay, awesome. Uh, so next up, here's an example. We have an integer A set to or allocated to zero. And we say do uh, print to the console A and then increment A. And then we say while A is less than five. Okay, so we start out with zero and then we increment it one, two, three, four. And then obviously we're not going to get... Um, we're not going to get uh, five. So this is going to stay in this do as long as it meets that condition. So pretty, uh, you know, logical sort of explanation. And don't forget the semicolon after the while statement. Okay, cool. So fill in the blanks to print X's, X variables value 10 times. So here we have integer X set to zero. And we say, you know, go ahead and print out X. Um, and then X plus plus, And we'll say while X is less than 10. Awesome, cool. So, while versus do while. If the condition evaluated to false, the statements in the do will, would still run once, but it's not going to run more than that. Here we have integer a set equal to 42. We're printing it out, and then we're incrementing it while it's less than 5. Okay, so it's going to print it out one time, right? But once it hits this, this, um, this control flow logic, it's going to say, is 42 less than 5? No. So it's only going to output 42 one time. So, to be perfectly honest, how many times do I really use this, like, at work or in my own code? I've, I can honestly say I've never really used it, maybe, like, less than five times. But, you know, if you are going for that, like, very specific control flow and you have a specific purpose for using it, then it could be helpful. So, the do while loop executes the statement at least once and then tests the condition. The while loop executes the statement after testing the condition. So, that's the one main difference. It's guaranteed the... To, it's guaranteed to run at least one time. Cool. So how is a do while loop different from a while loop? Okay. So uh, the answer right here is do while loop runs your code at least one time. While loops run the code before testing the condition. No. Do while loop test the conditions before running the code. Nope. So it's C. Awesome. So as with other loops, if the condition in the loop never evaluates to false, it will result in an indefinite loop or... Um, a never-ending program. So, or infinite loop as we call it. So here we have integer a set equal to 42. And all we're doing is we're saying while a is greater than zero, but because the value is never updated or decremented in this case, it's always going to be true. So it's always going to keep printing it out. Eventually you're going to get what's called a stack overflow in that you've exceeded um, like the browser's memory, or in this case, the underlying framework's memory to... Uh, to handle all of these requests and then your program is eventually going to crash. So this will print 42 to the screen forever and always test your loops so you know that they operate in the manner you expect. Cool. So fill in the blanks to print. This is a loop to the screen 15 times. So let's look at this program. We have integer x set to 1 and then we say, okay, print out this is a loop and then onto the next line. Okay. And then we want it to be uh, 15 times. So we'll say while x is less than or equal to 16. And let me, let me go back real quick. Let me see if I did it wrong. X is less than, sorry, 15. And uh, <coughs> I don't know why I was thinking, <laughs> thinking like that. Sorry about that. Um, sometimes you get tripped up with small stuff like that. But all right, guys, that was it for uh, part 14 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on sololearn.com. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Take care.